Um, alright, whatever. Let's try this again! But yeah, it, it was definitely Blower's uh, treasure that I missed. I always... Always forget that. Well, I was just trying to talent try. Liz dared what to wear the white slip-ons? They're so good. Wait, you 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 play Samus Hoagie? I didn't even see that. Bro, Samus is dope. I played Samus for a good bit when I was starting to get competitive in that game. I played Samus and Ice Climbers for a while. And then I ended up just doing Luigi, and a, now I do a little bit of Falco with that, but mainly Luigi. But yeah, now, uh, now Sloth just plays Samus and Ice Climbers. <coughs> but yeah, Sloth is actually an insanely good Ice Climbers, it's, it's kinda wild. Samus is fucking sick, dude. I'm, I'm a big fan of Samus in Melee. I wish more people played him. I, I'm upset uh, Plup doesn't play Samus anymore, really. Kind of Falco in college, but he's like, good and cool, I want big boom. Yeah, but I like good and cool. You've never worn white shoes before today, Alec? What the heck? White shoes are so good. You gotta, you gotta always have a pair of white shoes and a pair of black shoes, and then like some off colors, you know. Like you gotta have a pair of white shoes. Get filthy so quickly? Yeah. Well, just don't be a fucking dirty bitch. I don't know. Oh, you know what we gotta do, actually, Hoagie? We should do a Project Plus. Because that is, uh, it's basically like PM, but like the continuation of that. So like once the official development stopped on that, Project Plus became a thing. So I think, I think Knuckles is in that. I want to say Knuckles is in that. So we, we do like a good Knuckles, you know? Although Luigi is not as fun in that, he he is there. You do just have more options. I want to say Ridley's in that as well. <clears throat> Ballo Torney is chaos. Uh, hello to you too. Um, they are runs. I've already reset once, so that was very cool and based. Brawl instead of PM. I can go either way. I was always the one that like tried to push Brawl on like my friends because <laughs> I was like Brawl's fucking sick, but they were like no no PM or melee. And I, I always made them play Brawl, but like I do prefer PM over it because I mean it's just Brawl, but they fixed all the like nuances of gameplay that wasn't as great. But Brawl is still probably my favorite Smash game. If I'm being honest. I don't know, as much as I want to say Ultimate is my favorite, it's definitely not. It's honestly one of the first three is my favorite. It, it's so close between all of them, I don't really know. I don't think I could choose a favorite. Like, dude, I love Smash 64. I really want them to add that on this, uh, Switch bullshit. Uh, at this, at this point, the only, uh, reason I really go back to Brawl is for subspace. But I do fucking love Brawl. I do like the Wonka bit. Like, if you're not trying to, like, actually, like, play it and you're just, like, fucking around, Brawl is fucking phenomenal. 
It was exactly what they wanted out of the game. Subspace is fucking amazing, dude. I'm upset Roll the Light is not that. And that game made me really fall in love with, um, what is it? I can't think of what it is. Oh, fucking Toon Link. I loved Toon Link in that game. I used to play Toon Link all the time. I would play Toon Link, and I would play Falco, like, all the time in those games. And if I was, like, really trying to win, I would bring out the Olimar <laughs> or fucking uh, Ice Climbers. <laughs> Bro, I thought fucking uh, Olimar was so busted. I mean, he was, but, like, I didn't know that as a casual. What was it? I recently just uh, played Smash 64. I think I think that was actually was that a night we were doing Mysterium? I don't know. We were all in your VC for some reason, Hoagie. I forget why. But I do remember doing um, Smash 64. Oh, you know what it was? I think for some reason I was doing banjo practice in there. But uh, yeah, they need to add Smash 64 to this. Better smash than me, so I like Brawl because I could win thanks to trips and game and watch luck. <laughs> See, that's why I play Luigi. I don't have to necessarily be better, I can just fucking misfire someone. <laughs> they can't win if they can't hit me. I'm slip and slide incarnate. Like, that's why I loved melee Luigi. You literally just slide back and forth and then you just fucking throw them up and misfire them, and it's the greatest thing. And you're popping off. Listen, of course. I imagine Josh is into pretty much everything Hoagie's into. <laughs> if I had to guess, they probably played almost all the same games. <laughs> Wait, what? you played with him on your stream and you didn't know this? What? How do you just not know this? Fucking wild. No, I, I definitely have the itch to play some Smash. I don't know, every time I talk about Melee Luigi, all I want to do is just play Melee Luigi. It's such a fun character, dude. my robin comes from and it makes him so bad mad wait owl yeah i feel like i never really played smash with you guys at least not you Hoagie. i played with owl i don't i don't think i ever really played with you maybe like twice like i definitely didn't do it when he was playing on stream like owl was or whatever Yes. Okay, he's the one who is good at Robin, but then I play them. Here, hold on. Let me let me just finish this level. Let me just finish this level. Listen, I'm gonna need you to fucking move. The first analysis streams when he busted them out. Owl said, "Oh, and it looks like he's been inspired by your Robin." <laughs> Go! 
Alright, we're cowards. We're splitting here. But yeah, I'm surprised I got that jump, because I'll be honest, I was not really paying attention. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. I needed a roll there. Not a little puncher. That should work. Nice. Alright, I'll tell you what. Already off to a better start. Well, fuck that guy. But, like, already off to a better start. We're big purple gamers, you know? Some might even say we love being purple. But you know what's wild? I uh, looked at my like Twitch tracker like a month or two ago, and Smash Ult is still in like my top five games that I streamed. I didn't think I played it very much on stream, but apparently it's in my top five. Like I put some hours into that shit. It might not be now, but like for a while there, it, it was up at the top. Lucas, let's go. I love Lucas. Fucking, uh, I didn't really like Lucas in Brawl. I was like, who the fuck is this Ness wannabe? I wasn't, I wasn't about it. But then Smash 4 hit, and I was like, yo, Lucas, my man. Like, Lucas is fucking cool in Smash 4. And then in PM, bro, he's so cool in PM. I've only played like four games. What a smash? Never. I'm a smash warlord. He does only play Hotline Miami. Play something else. Be variety for once, you fucking freak. Man, I bet your top clip is still some Hotline Miami thing that I don't even know what happens in it. Despicable. Lose all your fan- yeah, do it. Doesn't sound like I'm a fan of it. So if anything, you might gain a fan by switching it up. What do you ever think of that? Nice. He is a fan of Wally. -E. I hear he might even do a run if a tutorial ever gets published by someone. Those are just the rumors I've been hearing though. I don't know how much truth there is to it. Oh, this could work, this could work. Let's go. Oh, I fucking missed one. Okay. To make room for Vermintide and said Wally can't get can't go it can't go you cannot get rid of wally the tutorial's coming it, it's it's right around the corner some might even say it's coming out next week i don't know who but some might say it but like are, are you guys actually getting into vermintide though because like I'll, I'll buy it while it's on sale if we're actually playing it Thought I was gonna be way too low there, I'm not gonna lie. That is kind of what it seemed like, Hoagie, where it's like, yeah, just like a once or twice type thing, but you know what? That could be worth six dollars to me, maybe.
Yeah, no, I'm... I forget when the... Sale ends. I think it was like the 8th, maybe? I'll have to double check it. I already have full health. When did I do that? I thought I was at like half. Yeah, maybe I'll get it when I get like paid on Thursday or something. I, I That might be after the... 8th, actually. That might be the 9th on Thursday. Fuck. I do need to practice that little segment there. What I gotta do is uh, finish Jedi Fallen Order. I'm like getting pretty close to finishing my third playthrough of that, so I want to finish that so I can be done with it. Good, <laughs> bro. I, I was I was fucking molding today. Nice invisible wall. That was cool. I'm playing this shit on like the hardest difficulty though, and it's 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 getting me molding a bit. I won't lie. Uh, I feel like for the past couple weeks, I've just been like starting games, playing them for like two days, and then just not finishing them. <laughs> like I did that with Elden Ring and Stardew. Although Elden Ring, I played for like a week and a half, but still, I, I didn't finish it. I'm sure I will eventually, but like, I don't know, I just like moved on from it pretty quickly. I could just finish them. I also have Lego Star Wars that I need to finish. Because I have been working on that a little bit. I just haven't really been using my PlayStation that much. Why did it not dive? Uh, I did buy a new uh, PS5 controller yesterday, though. Because they were having a nice little sale, so I figured I'll get it. I got a nice blue one coming tomorrow. I had some cash back from my Amazon card, so I it, it was basically just free for me, so that was cool. No, 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 no. be tough playing a new game but i usually end up just running spyro playing games with friends that is fair i probably should just be doing that or at least just like running stuff you know i don't know i was considering maybe restarting mass effect soon because i got the um what is it called? The fucking, like, Legendary Edition or whatever the hell they call it. I got that, like, remastered trilogy for, like, ten bucks, like, a couple months back. It's just sitting in my Steam library. I forget why, but, like, I think Amazon had it for, like, ten bucks for, like, a couple hours. So I was just like, fuck it. So I might do that. I also have Cyberpunk I want to play, though. I I've got that just kind of sitting here. I also gotta play God of War. Gotta play Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to play some of the Resident Evil games as well. Got a lot of stuff I want to play. But yeah, new stuff normally costs money, Owl. Ten years ago, new stuff shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fucking got you there. Listen, he's gonna be all about that Monaco when that shit comes out. We already know it. He's a Monaco freak. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna get the water, damn it. 
I really need to work on these flight sections a bit. But I don't know, I feel like I've had a pretty good balance of playing some like single player shit. And like streaming and playing stuff with people. Uh, TTC has always been one of my least favorite levels in the game, like, casually and especially as a runner. It's pretty fucking awful in both. I always liked, um, Freeze Easy Peak and, um, Rusty Bucket Bay. Those were always my favorites. Um, I'd say, like, for the run, though, I think we talked about this the other, like, like last week or whatever, but I think, for, like, for the run, Mad Monster Mansion's my favorite. Like, dude, Mad Monster Mansion's just so good. I will say in general, I'm not too in love with the run as a whole. Like, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna like run this long term or anything, because I think half the run's kind of eh. <laughs> but <laughs> it's fun enough to grind out for now. I wanna at least get sub three and then see how I feel from there. Uh, bubble gloop's really fucking annoying. I, I don't like bubble gloop, really. Mm, yeah, I, I think mainly just because of its all, all the mini games. Oh god, did my audio get all crackly? I don't know if it's crackly for you guys or not. But it is on mine, so that's fucking cool. Oh my god. Yeah, you you would be able to tell even without headphones. It's 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 just my end then. That's not gonna work. Oh my god, whatever, fuck it. This gives me time to do what I gotta do. Alright, just you know, it's preview gamer. Never mind, my screen went black. Okay, there we go. Now I can see. Alright, who the fuck can kill me? Okay. Alright. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think the run as a whole, though, I'm not super in love with. But I definitely think it's fun enough to grind out like a run or two a week. I, know, I am very excited to do some Zelda soon. I, I, I definitely am doing that soon. I don't know what I'm doing after this, to be honest. Uh, I might take a small break from the game after sub 3. Um, I'm learning how to do Ocarina of Time randomizers from Connor this weekend, so I might do some of that for a little bit. But I don't know. I don't know if I'd go back to Crash. Like, I, I don't know. 
I know, there's nothing that, like, has been wanting, has been, like, grabbing me, like, long term, I guess. I do still want to do some Mario shit as well, so, I mean, I'll probably just do some more Mario stuff soon. For the partner push? Did that actually... I mean, I guess it's Zelda, so that would work, but, like, did that actually, or did that hurt him? <laughs> I don't know, I've just been watching a lot of OOT 100% runs. And I've been watching Wind Waker randomizers, and I kind of just want to do a randomizer. People love Ocarina of Time randomizers. They're fucking cool, man. I've I've always wanted to try one. So I'm I'm very excited to learn. What the fuck go down? <clears throat> and I've I've contemplated running the Zelda a few times. I almost ran um Breath of Wild any percent actually. I don't know if you guys remember it. Uh, I did like half a stream where I practiced uh, Breath of the Wild any percent. That was definitely a thing. It was honestly pretty cool. But yeah, it was around the same time that um, Philly and Tippy and uh, Halo were all learning all shrines, and I was like, I'm not doing a fucking seven hour speed run, I'll do any percent. <laughs> Majora's Mask Kondo? I don't think I've ever actually seen a Majora's Mask Kondo run. Majora's Mask sounds very cool, though. I do really like the idea of running a Zelda game, though. And I figure at least messing with, like, a randomizer for it or something might see how much interest I actually have in it, you know, without actually committing to a full speedrun. It's just, like, I can get a little more familiar with the game and see how I like it. But yeah, I never really watched too much Majora's Mask. Um, I remember Five. I was actually gonna run Majora's Mask at one point. He had someone teaching him it on stream. This was like years ago. I always thought it looked really cool, but really fucking hard. All the like bomb clip shit you have to do. Like that's that's something you gotta put some time into to learn. Literal schedule, that is true. That's a lot. Bomb flipping and clipping that bound, yeah, that's a lot. I feel like, um, oh, T Hundo is pretty good with that. Where it's, it's got a good amount of like tricks and like some out of bounds stuff, but like most of it's like pretty, pretty normal, you know? I don't know, OOT Hundo's a really fun run to watch. Just in general, I think longer Zelda speedruns are like some of the like best speed runs out there. Like I used to watch a lot of Wind Waker back in the day, you know, Linkus. Maybe you've heard of him, but I, I used to watch Linkus a lot back in the day. I always loved when he did like, I think it was Hundo. It might have been that or like a different longer category, but he, he's done a few things like that where they're like, they were like six plus hours. They're so fun. OOT Hundo, but the tutorials weren't really around at the time. I, I definitely have interest in it, but it's, it's a lot. I mean, if I could run on the Switch version, I'd probably do it just for the convenience.
uh, for the GameCube. Yeah, I don't know much about the the GameCube version of um, Wind Waker. I do remember you saying that, though, um, that you had like your Japan copy of Wind Waker. I've only really watched like HD, not really much of the like original. I know there's like that Super Swim stuff for Wind Waker HD. That that looks crazy. And then there's like the fairy thing where you have to like fucking die, but then you get a fairy like while you're like mashing to like go upwards or some shit like that. Like Wind Waker is wild. Watch some OOT Honda, but at this point I like watching randomizer more, keep things refreshing. That is completely understandable. That's part of the, uh, I guess, interest for me. Because it seems like it'll be interesting. Like, it, it won't just be the same thing over and over again, you know? Like, you have to, like, constantly kind of adapt to what you're doing. Because, I don't know, that's definitely an issue I have with speedrunning. And why I don't ever do it long term. It's because it's just the same thing over and over and over again. There's nothing else. There's no variation to it. Except for, like, one little RNG section that could, like, kill a run or whatever. Like... But, I don't know. That's why that stuff's always interested me. Oh, you do it in both? Yeah, that, that's a lot. Oof. Wait, no, I need to go in. Play an FQ, uh, play an a, a game enough times you can get tired of it. Yeah, it, I, I just get bored of stuff very quickly, I feel like, <laughs> especially in speedruns, because it's the same stuff. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dumbo relaxed brain where I can just do runs for hours and not really feel anything. Yeah, I can't do that. Or if I can do that, it's for like a week tops. Don't dead dead now. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Hot dropping every game. Yeah, I don't. I don't really either with that. I don't know. There's there's some variation with that. Like I I don't. Oh, they gave me more health because of bottles. I forgot that's a thing. Let's go. Um, but I don't know, like, with, like, shooters and stuff. Like, you can do the same thing every time. There's still going to be some variation within that. That's why I don't really mind, like, grinding out shooters. Bottles is the go. He knows what's up. He knows how to treat a barren bird, right? Yeah, uh, you, there's like a little line on the side. You can just, as long as you stay on that line, you pretty much just won't get hit. The only reason I ended up getting hit there is because I went in to get the note and I just like kind of missed it a bit. But yeah, you just kind of stay on that little like line that I was walking on and you can't get hit. I always miss that first note. It's not hard to hit. <laughs> Okay, let's just do that. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know that was a thing though until I started watching speedruns of this. I mean, I don't know how someone would even like really figure that out. That has to be like an on accident thing. And I got the quick dive. Let's go. We're quicking. We're diving. Um, I will say though, running this has definitely got me a lot more interested in doing 100% runs for games. All right, listen. I'm gonna need you. Listen. 
can't believe he made me do that. I missed. Damn, I'm so good at this. Bravest kid at the sleepover said, hold my Kool-Aid, I'm going in. Yeah, listen, we're going in. Oh, uh, maybe I'm going out. Bro, when's the last time you guys have had Kool-Aid? I haven't had that shit in years. Probably, yeah. Just brute forcing something to happen. I, I used to do that with Sly back in the day. I would try and, like, just, like grind out some like sections bro listen I, I tell you i was one of the ones trying to find race or the world 2 race skip i spent a lot of, a lot of hours on that level trying to actually find a skip for that <laughs> that's what i'm saying like i feel like it's been forever since like 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 i see kool-aid everywhere but I've n I haven't actually had Kool-Aid in years. I'm gonna go for this. This is gonna be cutting it very close, but I I think I can make it. Yeah, I should be good. It's just it's gonna cut it very close. Yeah, okay, we're good. Thirty-three not listen. That's that was a couple of years ago. Alright, that wasn't bad. Alright, let me, uh... I had to close my blind. Yeah, I love being purple. That was kind of loud. Uh, we like being purple, though. 24 years, nothing big? Yeah, that's all I'm saying, that's nothing. That is kind of wild, though, that's literally how old I am. <laughs> Listen, I, I was born and you said that's enough Kool-Aid for me. I get it. I have that effect on people. What was your favorite color? Listen, I, I never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. Dude, I almost bought uh, the like purple PS5 controller today. I ended up going with the blue one, because, you know, we're, we're blue here. We like blue. But, like, the purple one's pretty hot, not gonna lie. Put the, ne the devil's nectar down. Listen, it, it, was, it was a sign, you know? Must stop consumption of the sugary drink, and I probably saved your life for it. You don't need that sugary drink. Bubble Gold Swamp. Well, we're not gold in anything. Come on now, you know better. What was it? I did actually get. Um, so we're having like a like a party or whatever for my um for my like brother-in-law in like a month. It's not it's not very important, but basically we're having like a, it's it's like a carnival almost. So my mom bought us a, a bunch of like snow cone like syrup shit, so you know we can make snow cones. And like half the flavors she got are like Kool Aid. I didn't know Kool-Aid did that. So I guess I'm about to have Kool-Aid soon. I don't know if that counts. Um, actually, yeah, let's go this way. Fuck up hard enough, it might end up gold. I don't know if Live Split has that ability to go gold. Like, I, th I think I just removed that option entirely. Listen, we can't all be neon. We can't all be insane baby. You know how it is. Make it taste so good. You just put the packet in and then mix it. What? Wait, did the piranhas tell you to not go in the water? I actually don't pay attention to that. So you just added more sugar to that shit and they like, were like all about it? 
Dude, I, I can't do very sugary drinks now. I got some, like, Snapple in my house right now. And I was looking at it. And there is more than my daily recommended amount of sugar in one little, like... I think it's like, it's like 18 ounce bottle, I think. It's not a very big bottle, but there's more than my daily recommended sugar in one fucking bottle. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, dude. That's insane. So naturally, the Snapple's been kind of just sitting there for a couple weeks, you know. I'm slowly having some sips here and there. When I feel I've earned it, but... Smelly feet, yeah, they don't want to see my smelly feet, but, but my feet are so good. It does say tea on it. This isn't even the, the tea one though. This is like, like fruit punch and like mango and like shit like that. Like it's not even the tea. Oh, I fucking hit everything wrong there. Fruit juice is also really bad. I'm not surprised. Like, it definitely seems like fruit juice, or at least for the most part, is going to have a shit ton of sugar in it. But, you know, I could never put down the appy juice. I'm going to just say it. Like, I, I can't put down the appy juice. It's too good. Who the fuck are you hitting that YouTube command? What's up, Kaden? How have you been? I actually got that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that makes sense. That, like, it's all the sugar from fruit. Listen, I will just simply strain the sugar out. Uh, I'm a bit chillin'. I've been, like, teaching myself JavaScript recently. It's been kind of cool. Other than that, been big chillin', you know? Uh, I did graduate, yeah. I haven't gotten my diploma or anything, but I ha I did graduate. I didn't, I didn't walk. So I was like, fuck that. But I'm definitely not back in the fall, I can tell you that much. What I major in? Uh, computer science. Just got my bachelor's in that. Like, a couple weeks ago. That first one worked, let's go. But yeah, I'm trying to get into front-end development right now, so I'm trying to, like, teach myself JavaScript and, like, brush up on some CSS and HTML and all that stuff. Uh, that's what I'm doing, too. Uh, I, I'm- the JavaScript class I'm, I'm taking right now is I got on uh, Udemy- Udemy, I don't know how you say that name, but, like, I- I'm- I'm taking a JavaScript class on there. Uh, I can send you it if you're interested. I was also gonna take, I, th I think there's a CSS and an HTML one on there as well. I'm, I'm taking a few things on there. Listen, I'll, I'll miss you too. Can I like, just go to Stockton still even though I graduated? Like, is that a thing? Like, can I just say is like, can I just say I'm visiting my sister or something? Do you think they just let me? It's you, Demi, okay. Full stack? Full stack seems rough, man. I, I just don't like back end at all. Mad people do it? Well, then listen, you might see me in the fall. I don't know why I'd want to go back there, but like, you might see me in the fall. <laughs> if I decide to like, visit my sister or some shit.
A foot. Don't hit me, you coward. Okay, hold on. I need to open up something. Okay. Look, I haven't heard the bit sound in so long, I thought it was a different sound. Thank you for the little bit. <laughs> Copious amounts of coffee? It's it's very possible. I I don't know. Like, who who came up with fucking Java and JavaScript? Alright, hold on. Uh while I'm doing this, I cannot see chat. I got a little thing up on my screen so I can like keep track of what the fucking pattern bullshit is here. Uh, but I will say, so far, JavaScript, pretty cool. Java sucks, but JavaScript, pretty cool. I've just been going through a bunch of, like, basic shit for it right now that, like, I haven't even, like, programmed anything yet. It's literally just learning what, like, an object is for, like, the 18th time. So I might just, like, skip some of that. And then just go back if I need it. But it is pretty cool so far. Did I not hit that? There we go. All right, last one. Too many. All right, got that. All right, all right so it ends on teal, so I get the jiggy first. Nope, that's the wrong one. That one. Alright, and then we go here. Alright, there we go, there we go. Listen, I don't know shit about turtles, I'll admit it, Hoagie. Also, what's up, Trash Man? Uh, run's going. Um, I already had to reset once, but this run's going pretty good. As far as I can tell. How have you been? Started out as Mocha, then became LiveScript, then became JavaScript when Netscape and Sun got together. Huh. Interesting. As exciting as, like, Python, where it's all, like, Monty Python references. Also, look at you being number one bit person, Caden. You're a bit freak. Um, I'm learning JavaScript. I already know how to do like five or six different programming languages. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get into front-end development and I don't really know too much like, I know a little bit of HTML and CSS, but I don't know JavaScript, so I'm trying to learn that right now. Uh, yeah, Python was named after Monty Python, not the snake. Which is probably one of the only reasons I like Python, to be honest. <laughs> There are no snakes. I don't know, there, there's a bunch of shit in the language that like is just references to Monty Python. I honestly couldn't tell you them, but I know I've had professors kind of pop off about it. <laughs> now that was rude. All right, 20, so we're good on tokens here. You're a C hash developer for Canadian military? Wait, that sounds fucking sick. I did not know that, that's very cool. I've never actually uh, messed with like C hash or uh, C++ or anything like that. 
Uh, mainly what I've messed with is um, Java, Python, a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS, I've done a bit of PHP. If you consider SQL a language, I've done some of that. <laughs> But yeah, most, mostly back-end stuff, though. I wasn't a huge fan of it, though, so I'm, I'm learning front-end. But yeah, pretty much all throughout my degree, it was all, like, back-end, like, programming shit. HTML, CSS, SQL, and HLSL. I actually don't even know what HLSL is. I'll tell you, it sounds cool though. But yeah, of all the stuff that I've like actually programmed in before, HTML and CSS were easily my favorite. Like anything that involved making websites, I loved doing. So that's kind of why I'm like going into that a bit more. I almost lost that. <laughs> higher level shader language, or maybe it's high level. Okay, well there's there's a level and they're shading and they're doing things. All right, that sounds cool though. I've I've never heard of it. I'm gonna have to actually look into that after stream. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I'm missing everything. I really feel like I'm gonna like fuck up this mini game. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to follow him. didn't, Hoagie. Um, I forget what happened. What was my most recent goal thing? I don't know, there was like some channel point goal thing I had. I don't know if you contributed to that at all, but I did accidentally refund everyone for that instead of marking it as complete. So if you contributed to whatever the fuck that was, that might have been Chameleon Twist. Uh, that could be part of it. Bro, leave me alone, he's boxing me out. Okay, that was, that was a huge string there. Okay, whatever. We got it. In print examples, mostly. I mean, it's definitely more beyond that, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're big on Pont or Monty Python stuff. Documentation's dog shit. Well, we love that. Also, welcome back, Tor. There's no nacho fries? What? Rented that once as a kid. I had not heard of it until like a month or two ago. Uh, one of my mods really wanted me to play it though, the second one. So uh, I played that on stream like a... Uh, whenever... The, I, it, it, must, it must have been like a month ago at this point. It was honestly kind of fun. I enjoyed it. And then I was going to do another thing for Glover when that came out on Steam. Because when I was playing that I had like five different people tell me Glover was coming to Steam. Uh, then I just kind of never did. I didn't want to spend the money and the reviews weren't all that great.
Oh, I have so much health. Alright, come on, you can just hit me. You can just hit me a little bit. You can just hit me. Why, thank you. I literally, I just wanted to die. Yeah, I love being purple. Uh, from what I played at Chameleon Twist, though, it was a fucking surprisingly difficult game. I, I was surprised. I don't know how kids would be able to beat that shit. Of the hardworking chatters. Yeah, I, I don't know why you'd have so much points. That's the only thing I can think of. Also, sounds good, trash man. Thank you for uh, hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you for the good luck. Beef melt with chicken melt burritos. Wait, that sounds really good. Strawberry frosty. I don't think I've ever had a Frosty that was not vanilla. But I tell you what, a vanilla Frosty with some fries right now sounds... Oof. Oh, it sounds good. Oh, it sounds a little, a little dangerous, even. You know, it, it might... I might need to make a Wawa run after this uh, run. Get, like, a, a vanilla milkshake or something with some french fries there. It's weird to me that Wawa sells fries now. Dude, Wawa sells, like, everything now. It's weird. You can get, like, chicken sandwiches and shit there. Wawa's doing something. I think you can get tacos and, like, pizza there. If you don't know, Wawa's kind of like a... I'd, I'd say, like, a... Like, a luxury 7-Eleven is probably the only way to, like... Put it? It's like a convenience store gas station, but they, like, actually fucking, like make stuff you were born in a wow i believe it oh fuck. wow is the convenience store that sells pizza yeah they just started it I haven't tried it yet, but it is a thing there. The less and all oh, is a is it probably like a collectible in that game? I feel like it is. Oh, that would make sense. I've still never played that game. I should. Oh, I actually got that. And a convenience superstore is a good way to put it. Uh, but yeah, it's like a gas station. A convenience store, and then like you get like a bunch of like milkshakes and like just a bunch of like subs and like hoagies and shit made for you there. Like they, they do a lot of shit. But it's kind of wild to me how big Wawa is now. Cause like I I've had Wawa around me my entire life. Cause I'm I'm in New Jersey, so like that's pretty much where Wawa originated. I'm pretty sure. It was either here or PA, but I'm pretty sure it was New Jersey where it originated. So like I've had it around me like my whole life. So it's kind of wild to see it just like being in like a bunch of different states now. Like it's very common in Florida, New Jersey, yeah. It does have hoagies. It listen, you can get a hoagie while being hoagie. There we go. Two eighty. All right, but like, what if you did though? You you could order food. You know, that's all I'm saying. I'm gonna be a bad influence here. <laughs> uh, I am not in PA, but I'm not far away from PA. I'm only an hour away. I'll just say I'm an hour away from Philly. 
both the person and the city. I realized the confusion in that as soon as I said it, but yeah, both the person and, and the city I'm like an hour away from. I, what? I clipped through it! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what part of Canada are you in? I've always wanted to go to Canada. Free healthcare does sound pretty based. Ontario? Dude, Ontario sounds cool. I want to go to Ontario. Part of the Yukon. Well, listen, he, he can move, maybe. He can work something out. Okay, hold on, hold it. Oh shit. Oh, I hate this part. But I, I do want to go to Canada at some point though. I've been like looking into stuff to like go to like, I want to go to like Boston and then like Canada and Alaska. I want to go all up there. I know Boston's kind of a weird one to add to that list, but like, I want to go to Boston. Oh, <laughs> uh, they have like cruises that go, f uh, like to Alaska, and I, I want to do one of those. I think that'd be really sick. Uh, do I get anything here? I do. There's a Jinju. <laughs> flip into the wall there no there is a clip uh i do later on in click clock wood though that would i guess be kind of similar to that camping in main next year i mean yeah absolutely i, I would love to Like I should have some good some good money saved and shit. I'd absolutely be down for that. Um, no, I don't need that one. It fuck yo, let's go, dude. You really got me wanting like a frosty or something right now. Uh, what, what are we saying? What about? Oh, I missed that note. Yeah, whatever. Yo, he boxed me out. I, that's what I uh, figured, but I wasn't sure because we talked about a few things. He could have been very shocked by the camping in Maine, you know? Wait, I need to help? I have not played that game in my life. Torpsy, they could have been anything. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you gotta get a little cold down there. Um, do what he said, spread out and move the ball around. Maybe like taunt him for being in a different country or something. That could maybe really get at him. Um, throw throw the ball, maybe like kill a, a rat or two, or a halfling, whatever that is. You would never freeze in Florida. Yeah, throw the ball. Yeah, but next week, Hoagie. 
Oh no, he said this week. Okay, this week. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Rubber Banyan, just in general in this game, is really cool. It's, uh, very fun. Big fan. It happens in the, um, pretty much all the minigames. The, um, the, the minigame with the crocodile thing, like, that, that has Rubber Banyan in it as well. But yeah, uh, some of my family's actually going to Florida next week. Also that, um... I want to say Mario Kart 64 has very bad rubber banding. Cause like I, don't, I, I watch speedruns of that game. Those AI, they they stay on top. Doesn't matter how fast you go. Dude, I love watching Mario Kart 64 speedruns. Mario Kart 64 All Cups No Skips is one of my favorite speedruns to watch. Double speed to catch you. I absolutely believe that. Because I'll be watching people like pop off and like speedrun, and the AI will be right there. Oh, I just missed the strat. Oh! I hit the wrong button. I almost fucking died, dude. <laughs> Uh, I have to assume that's it, where the, yeah, it was just very simple stuff, and then it just was, like, rubber banding, you know? What the fuck? Three feet back, yeah. So wait, what is SRT any percent? Far ahead minus one. That's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you cracked the code. Spiral reignited. I'll be honest, I still don't know what happens in the speedrun. <laughs> I think you're on a plane at some point. You fight like a, a mean witch lady at the end, sorceress or whatever. Like, I always sit down and I'm always just like, this is going to be the one I actually watch. And then I look away a minute later and then you're at Sorceress again. <laughs> you do that weird, like, glide jump. Like, at the very beginning that you always mess up. I do want to play Spyro, though, I will say. I, I definitely want to play them. You are too fast to watch with the human eye. Spire 3 is your favorite? Well, listen, if you want to see some speedruns of that, check out Hoagie. An OG Spyro? I've never played any Spyro.
for the Switch. Yeah, I, I was thinking about picking it up on like Steam or something soon. I don't know. Whenever it goes on sale for like 15 bucks or something, I might get it. <laughs> for I need danger field a little bit. <laughs> And to the dragon, one of the uh, GBA season ones. I have heard enter the dragonfly or something like that. Isn't that it? Is that is a dragonfly dragon? I don't know. There's 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 a thing. Uh, I get all the fucking spiral games mixed up. Okay, we're good. I hate that jump so much. Honestly, one of my least favorite jumps in the entire game. Cinder's booty. We could never, not the cinder. It's a very not cool jump. I need to have at least five health there in order to make that as well. I don't even remember how you get the ice key. I definitely remember getting all of the stop and swap stuff on uh, the Xbox version, because I know they like implemented that in it. I don't remember how to do that at all though. I do remember on um, TTC, there was like that mountain out in the like ocean or whatever, kind of by the last honeycomb piece I get there, where it, it just is like up and you can go inside it and shit. That's the code? What do you mean? Like that's how it was coded in or? Not sure I follow. I do remember getting the ice key in Tui. Could not tell you what it does. Does that get you Dragon Kazooie? I don't remember. Well, you need like some like mega like Globo or some shit for that. I, I forgot actually. I, I don't remember how you get that. Oh. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I knew you got the Mega Globo. I just didn't know like, if the Ice Key was a part of it. I don't remember where you get that. I do remember the Xbox version. They implemented it, like how they were uh, in originally intending to, which I thought was very cool. Oh, I, I love Dragon Kazooie. Every time I play through that game, I try to do it. Dragon Kazooie is just so fucking cool. I just forget how to actually get it. I'll unlock them on the Tui. That makes sense. Is it also connected to Nuts and Bolts? I don't remember. Hello, Kit. Uh, well, we're two minutes ahead. Kit did actually bless the run today. He said J time save instead of so long J time save. He said hello, that was the word. They did extend it to nuts and bolts, okay. Yeah, I think it was just some simple shit like parts, but that's still pretty cool. That was a different run actually. I did reset that run. But you know, it, it, it carried over. It, it's the thought that counts. The run that he blessed, though, was pretty dog shit, so coincidence, I think not. <laughs> We're time save freaks.
This is to earn, exactly. Cool. <laughs> okay, we're off to a really good start. You just, you just grab it. Thank you, thank you. I think I have a good amount of uh, yellow feathers here, or gold feathers, whatever the fuck they are. Oh, whatever. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Listen, this... It's not off to a great start so far. But who's to say we can't turn it around? We will no longer be denied by a low wall. I need you to leave me alone. Alright, as long as I have two feathers for when I enter the, like, church cathedral thingy, we should be good. Yo, I kind of don't want to play Gobi Valley today, not gonna lie. It'd be cool if I could just, like, skip that. The level's not very fun. I mean, that, I feel like that's kind of what, like, every fucking enemy does. Where they just kind of spam their sound. But as, as, especially the ghosts, as soon as they move, they, they just do the sound. Um, right now, Gobies isn't bad for me. Because, I mean, I have a pretty shit time. But, like, I don't know. It's just boring. <laughs> I just don't like playing it. It's one of your favorites to watch. It's definitely one of my least favorites. This is my favorite level. For playing Tui yourself. I originally was planning on running Tui instead of Kazooie, to be honest. Uh, then people talked me into doing BK Hundo instead of Tui. I do prefer Tui more, though. You'd always get Freezy to peek and he would uh, get Gobies. Damn, he got the short end of the stick. You got a banger of a level. But yeah, I never knew Kazooie was even a thing till I was in like high school. Or no, I was probably like middle school to be honest. Like I grew up with Tui and then when I heard people calling it Kazooie, I was like, no, you're saying it wrong. It, it's Tui. <laughs> like, I just didn't know there was one before it for years. But... Yo, Sky, thank you for the good luck. Hope you're doing good. didn't work. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go. Let me hit him with one of these maneuvers, right? Crazy. It's a 2009, but I grew up with Kazooie yourself. Yeah, I didn't play... Uh, I don't think I played Kazooie until my freshman year of high school. And then I got Kazooie and Tui again on Xbox when it came out on there. But I do have Tui on the N64. Don't fight G at all. That's what I've heard from Hoagie. You did just kind of ignore his messages, though. There are four Banjo games. I think it's four. There's Kazooie, Tooie, Nuts and Bolts, and then, like, Grunty's Revenge or some shit. Whatever that Game Boy one is. I don't think there's any other ones other than that.
Oh, Banjo Pilot. I forgot about Banjo Pilot. True, yeah. I, I definitely forgot that game existed. Is that also GBA? What am I going for? What what was the last letter I hit? I wasn't paying attention. I need the Z. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I was not paying attention at all. Let's try that again. Grew up on Kazooie, played it to death. It was like my first game. And when like 11 got Tui and couldn't stand it. See, I, I like Tui a bit more, but I think that's because I grew up with it. But even so, I never even made it into the first level growing up. I literally just was stuck in um, Spiral Mountain. I just could not get past Klungo. I do think it's a level I like more the more I play it because the backtracking's a bitch in that game and once I get better at knowing what to do I start to enjoy it a bit more. Uh, I saw that too, the fan made trailer for 3. Um, it was like made in Dreams, right? Project Dreams or whatever. They also like remade a bit of Kazooie and Tooie in there as well. It was a really cool project. Uh, whatever. We're gonna get this backup one, just in case. I definitely don't need it, but we're getting it. Simple level design, or either clear sectors or big hub in the middle of things around it. Yeah, I like the more linearity of uh, Kazooie for sure, but I think I just like Tui's overall gameplay more. Yeah, I remember watching interviews for Nuts and Bolts. They were just like, we got this cool this cool new physics, like, Havoc engine, so we just had to make a game out of it. I was like, you, you didn't have to do it with Banjo, but, like, you know, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> I don't know, Nuts and Bolts is not a bad game, to be honest. It's just a bad Banjo game. But, like, I, I enjoy it a lot. Like, Nuts and Bolts is a really fun game. And honestly, visually, it holds up very well, I think. But yeah, I play Nuts and Bolts all the time, though. Alright, hold on. I gotta do, do a little Motan. That's the wrong one. Okay, let's do that. No, so then I go there. There's two I did, okay, so three. All right, nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I like thoroughly enjoyed my time with Kazooie, or not Kazooie, uh, Nuts and Bolts. <clears throat> I'm kind of like, as much as I want to say they shouldn't have put the banjo name on it, I would have literally never played it if they didn't have the banjo name on it. So it's like, I'm kind of kind of glad it's a thing. Like, I don't know, I, I thought it was pretty okay. Like, in its own right. I did enjoy my time with Kazooie. Maybe not right now, but you know, at one point or another, I did enjoy Kazooie. <laughs> But uh, Kazooie's great. I still vastly prefer Tui, though. Uh, it absolutely does, Torp. Absolutely does. Yes, okay, there we go. It's like if they made, like, a slide game, but it's like a kart racer. Oh, fuck. Bro, I need to go back up there.
All right, so a little, little bit of a time loss. All right, that didn't work. Oh my god, just get up there. That's uh, vehicle building in minigames. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. I mean, I, I liked going around at least the... What do they call it? Showdown Town? I thought that was at least cool. That felt Banjo-esque with all the shit you, like, collected. The visual novel. I don't know if I want that. Yo, that man is dead. Okay, um, um, listen, you can stay dead. All right, whatever, let's do one of these, I guess. The art director of Kazooie said Banjo and Kazooie had a non-monogamous sexual relationship. Oh. I don't really know what to do with that information, but that's that, that's good to know, I guess. Yeah, I think it was like a natural progression for it, for sure. I don't know what else they would do after that, though, to be honest. So I'm not surprised there wasn't like a follow-up to it. Oh, God. Oh my god, can I just... Alright, can I just do one of these maneuvers? Thank you. Fuck. It bounced off into me. Alright, whatever. Not the end of the world. You there, Bang? Listen. Who's, who's to say? I mean, may, maybe the art director, but who's to say? I, I will say on the topic of Sly, I've been hearing some like heavy rumors that there's gonna be like a new Sly game. I don't want to be like on Copium and be like, "There's a new Sly coming." But like, I've been hearing like more and more rumors that like it's coming. So I'm like starting to believe it a bit. There's been like multiple like things over the past couple of months that I've heard about it. I did one of those maneuvers. Yeah, Sly 4 is dope. I, I like it more than Sly 3. Uh, Sly 4 is definitely the least liked one, I think. But um, yeah, I, I like it more than Sly 3. Wait, I need that, and I need that. Is there one behind here? No, okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I guess if most of you know, but if you don't know and you're from the bench community, I used to run Sly One, and a little bit of Sly Two. So like, Sly is a pretty common topic that comes up in here. Uh, but yeah, three, three was probably my least favorite. I don't want to get the T Rex, please. One hit deaths. Uh, it's. Kind of what makes me like it. Like, I like how it's set up in the other games, at least casually, but for, like, a speedrun-wise, the one-hit mechanic just makes it a much better game. Like, speedrun-wise. Get a couple of those... Yeah, I think Sly 3 is probably the only Sly I would ever not speedrun. I'll just get in, thank you. Next Crash game. It does feel a bit similar to Crash. I, I will say with, with in the re regards to like the one hit like mechanic or whatever. That might be why I like Crash, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, as a casual, one is probably one of my least favorites, but like after speedrunning it for a while, it's definitely up there as like probably my second favorite.
yeah, Sly 1 and 2 do their things insanely well. 3 just feels rushed, and well, it was rushed, so I just don't like it for that. There's like nothing to do outside of the main missions. 4 just was a different dev and just felt different, but it was cool. Crash 3 is pretty good. Uh, if you don't know, I used to speedrun that. I mean, I, I like on and off speedrun it, but like, yeah. Crash 2 is probably my favorite Crash, though. I, I feel like I've been mentioning this a lot recently, but I've actually never uh, played Crash 3 casually. And yeah, I speedran that game a lot. Yeah, I've still never played Spyro, though. I definitely want to do that. Dude, the way they, like, scream warped in there. Oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, I really liked how they explored the whole, like, lineage and stuff like that. You got to play as all of his ancestors in 4. I thought it was really well done. I was, I was really happy we got to do uh, Tennessee Kid Cooper. That was always the one name that, like, stuck out. But I, I still love going back and playing that game. I hope they just port them all to PS5, to be honest. I don't care if they're shit to speedrun. I just want them for casually. I don't think they'd retcon 4. Because if they make a new one, I, I don't know. They'd have to, like, completely, like, start over. Because, like, 3 ended it pretty well, and then they opened it back up. So, like, they, I don't know, they'd have to take it into a new direction. I don't know what else you could do other than that. Um, that's... That. Listen, I'd, I'd be down for a PC port. Man, they had that state of play yesterday. And they said, a fan favorite uh, PlayStation game is coming to PC. And, you know, my, my copium got real high there, and I was like... Oh, it's about to be Bloodborne. I knew it wasn't gonna be Bloodborne, but I had the copium going. It was it was Spider-Man. Spider-Man is pretty cool though. I doubt we, they would ever go on Switch, but that'd be cool. I reset on purpose. It's part of the run torp, God. Spider-Man PC, yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, for some reason, Spider-Man got ported, but not Miles Morales. So I was a little shocked at that. But yeah, Spider-Man's on there. With Ratchet? I don't know. I could see the newest Ratchet getting put on there. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. They were exclusives, but now they're owned by Activision, aren't they? So, like, that's, that's something different now. Where am I going? Gobi Valley. Oh, I missed it. Like I don't I don't see it happening, but like I also wouldn't be surprised at all if it happened to her. I guess that's kinda where I'm at with it. That that is true. I don't know, I mean you you could definitely make it work without the dual sense features, and I mean Steam has support for that shit too. But it also does take away from the experience a bit. Alright. Thank god. I mean, I would say that gunplay would probably make it work better on keyboard and mouse. Because, I don't know, I mean, I feel like generally shooters tend to be a, pretty good on keyboard and mouse. 
But I don't know, I mean, there's a lot of games that are on PC where they're just like, yo, you should like definitely use a controller for this, you know? Like, have you ever played uh, Yakuza? They tell you as soon as you boot it up, they're just like, real Yakuza, use a gamepad. <laughs> so like, I don't think that would necessarily be a reason to stop them. But who knows, maybe. I don't know, I hope they just keep porting shit to PC though. It's honestly sick. I'm surprised I didn't miss that. I mean, with controller. Yeah, they, they do have a bit of a lock on, for sure. Everything else. It, it could definitely work with keyboard, but it would just be rough. I don't know, I, I, it's not necessarily a bad thing to give the option to use keyboard and mouse, but like be like, yo, we highly recommend using a controller. Cause like most, I feel like most people have a controller at this point, you know? I don't know. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if they poured it. But I also don't see it, though. Console Purious? That is fair. I... am not. <laughs> Kinda don't really care which platform I play stuff on these days. I was all about consoles for years, and then I'd say about high school, I started doing a lot more stuff on PC instead. But I mean, I just kind of use it as like a console at this point, but like I still have consoles and stuff. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yep. That camera out fucked me. But yeah, I, I play consoles like all the time. But for the most part, if like a game is on console or PC, I'll probably end up just getting it on PC. Just for the convenience of, like, I'm just always at my desk and it's just easy to, like, click boot up. That's usually all it comes down to for me is just convenience. I need to go this way. Yeah, I used to play a lot of, like, PC games, like really like when i was really young because like my dad was really into gaming when i was little so he, he's like kind of i guess where i started it from and he used to play a bunch of stuff on pc like i remember playing like some of the like first like medal of honor games and stuff like that Yeah, I, I I feel that, uh, Naz. I, actually, I'll, do you have a preference for what you want me to call you? I don't think I've I don't think I've ever actually said your name yet. Is, is Naz cool? Do you prefer like Naz? -a? Something different? But usually, if controller is an option, I will use it though. Naz is fine. All right, cool. Um, I need the thing up. Hold on. That's the wrong thing. Um, where am I looking? Nine, ten, and then we got eleven here. Okay, we're good now. PS2 or lower, and then I usually run it natively. Yeah, for like retro games, I try to like not emulate if I can. Like, I'd much rather prefer playing retro games on their original hardware. But 
But I've been... I don't know, I used to get a lot of physical releases when I was younger. I've definitely started to get back into that recently. I've been buying a lot more games physically, especially for my PS5. Wait, what the heck? What just happened there? Hold on, if I could just hit this guy. I did it. RTS and arena shooters. He played a lot of RTS and arena shooters as a little kid. My dad was never really into arena shooters, but he he was he was he was into a lot of like FPS games and stuff. Like I used to play like Far Cry One and shit like that. He had like this American Chopper game. <laughs> like you guys remember that old like motorcycle show? He had a game for that, so I used to play that shit. But yeah, he just had like a whole shit ton of like games and like next to his like computer in the basement, so I would just like pick one and borrow it. I'm getting better at that. Okay. I was gonna say the music just died there. What the fuck was that? But yeah, I don't know, now my dad doesn't really play much games anymore. He mainly just plays GTA. And you usually can definitely tell when he's playing, because the whole house will be vibrating, and you'll be hearing cop sirens, and like, people screaming and stuff. He, he goes a little hard. But it's kind of funny, he bought a Final Fantasy VII remake a couple months ago. I was like, I heard it's really good. I was like, I don't know if that's your type of game, but like, it's, it's pretty good, yeah. Yo, sounds good, Naz. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. You have a good night. Thank you for the good luck. There should be one more over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let me follow this little line in the sand here. Swag ring strat? Swag. How's he do it? I don't remember where to go from here. <laughs> no, I do, I do. Never mind. I think this is the first time that I've actually had more than like 20 fucking eggs entering this level. Like I'm always scraping by for eggs. I did the maneuver into the floor. We're swag ringing. Oh God, I went way too high. All right. The maneuver. They never expect it. Alright, let's go. Honestly, this is a pretty solid run so far. I say so far as I'm like two hours into a three hour run, but like, it's pretty good. Like, I'm, if I'm still, like, even leaving Click Lock Wood, I feel like I could sub three this. Oh, God. Nah, I'm not making it. Oh, I still, am why did that not go? What the hell? Don't you hit me. Don't you do it. Don't you hit me. He's gonna hit me. Oh, it spawns me back here. Okay, never mind. He didn't hit me. Let's go.
I don't know how well I'm doing on this. Like, I don't know if I'm good on notes and shit. Oh god. Swag. Um, okay, so let me go up here. All right, I will say I wasn't looking forward to playing this stage But it has been going pretty well. I've enjoyed it Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh god The uh, god whatever let's just go this way wait. Oh god this way I'll be it. Um, let's get one of you. Alright, and then we're getting the last Jinjo here, so let me do one of these maneuvers. Alright, I didn't get the quick dive. Did I finish this with 83? I think I finished this with 83. Okay, maybe it's 84. Okay, I need more. I don't know how much health I need for the uh, notes at the very end, so we're just going with full. Um, I think I have eight jiggies. I, I think I think I have everything so far. Yep, okay, we're good on that. Alright, that looks right. Bro, he just went through that little magic carpet. God. Just grab the note. Okay, we're good. All right. Let me just sit here for a sec. have there six health I think mm, that's pretty good what did I fuck up in Gobi's last time that I saved so much time here <laughs> all right uh I think this is up top yeah it is I always forget where this one is. Right, we got two more levels in endgame. I'm feeling pretty good about getting the clip for, for Boob. I think I can get the furnace fun thing 
quick quick enough maybe like <laughs> i don't really know about that trick yet but I'm, I'm feeling fairly confident with those right now like i definitely can get the clip for boob clip like really quickly it's just can i actually get into the thing without getting back inbounds I don't know, we'll see when I'm there in like an hour. And it'll probably be less than an hour. I am excited to get better at this a little bit, because the better I get, the shorter this run is. I mean, obviously that goes without saying, but like, this is a long fucking run, man. Like, three hours is, is, is a lot for one speedrun for me. Now two hours and fifty minutes. Now we're now we're talking, you know. You know, I need to practice Rusty Bucket Bay a bit more. Mainly the clip in the engine room. I like never practice it, but I I, de I definitely need to. What the fuck? go the swag jump i hit one of the maneuvers oh i didn't even get talon trot there now yeah, whatever Jesus. All right. I'm just going to take the engine room nice and slow. Oh, God. Why did that, like, turn around like that? I think I'm facing the right way. That's an okay angle. Fuck. Dude, I just, I don't get it. Sorry, I think I died there in my PB as well. It seems to be the case with this, where I get it, like, second try almost every run. But, like, I have to die first. Yo, maneuver again? The honeycomb. Oh my god. That did not work how I had hoped. I hate that there's notes over here. Wish I could just go right. I don't know why I risked all that. 
Beat this out. Uh, that might be good. That was somehow worse. Okay. Okay. Just one down. Dude, I don't know what it is. The second attempt, I can always get it, but the first attempt, I cannot. I don't get it. Hey, do, you want, do you want a clip? Do, do you feel like... Do, do you want a clip? There we go, Jesus, that was such a slow clip. Alright, definitely not going for the Jinjo first. Oh god, that was so far down. Alright, I, I like having air, so we're gonna do this. Hello gamer, Luna, what's up? You. Yo, I've been I've been lurking in the past couple of your streams, man. You're you're popping off. You're being like a streamer or something. Stuffy as fuck. Well, we hate that. I'm pretty good. And I tell you what, I'm not very stuffy over here. Yeah, what do you mean? You you. You've been sitting at least like in like the low twenties the last couple streams I checked. That's a pretty big improvement. <laughs> You're popping off. It's cause you're streaming. Listen, it's the TikTok grind. Maybe I don't know. It, it, it might be. I definitely haven't posted anything to any site in like a couple weeks, but like you're on that consistent grind. And then you know what? You hit one Overwatch stream, and then you you know you just you send them all away. It's a good strat. But have you got the Sigma skin yet? Because if not, we might have to get you that si that skin. Till the end, smart. Oh, I fucked up. I still got it, okay. Oh god. Listen, I, I don't need this Sigma slander. All I'm saying, if you want to be a cool Sigma Meister gamer, it could happen. We could make it work. You'll be the coolest kid in school with your Sigma skin that you won't even use. The ultimate flex.
Sigma God, listen. There's no Sigma God here. I just throw rocks at people, that's it. Overwatch, well, you know, at least if, if you're asking, you know. Since you're bringing it up and all, I, I could I could do that at some point. I'm not gonna lie, I was I was laughing for a good minute the last time I asked you to play Overwatch. Because <laughs> I just sent I just sent it in all caps with like some random screaming gif. Uh, the gif I was just laughing at for a good minute. I was honestly a little surprised you you responded right away. <laughs> oh fuck. I did say now. <laughs> and I, I put the little little girl screaming to really emphasize the now part. I feel like it did it justice, you know. You responded to the now and said, I got you right now, but now is like an hour. You got it, you got it. Listen, when, when, when Jay calls, you gotta answer. I understand it. <laughs> Yo, Bill, thank you so much for the raid, man. How was your stream? Hope it went well. Welcome gamers from Bill's stream, hello. I think you all know me at this point. So I don't think I'm gonna do an intro, but hi. That bites? And Bill, at the same time, this is a blessed day. What are you guys doing? Yo, what's up, Dilly? Yo, we're kind of on a little hot pace on Banjo right now. I'm honestly very nervous for the end of this run, but I do think we can sub three it at this current moment in time. <laughs> because it depends how bad Click Clock goes. Always oh, so close. I'm literally in it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I was trying to skip the cutscene by entering the loading zone there before the like cage falling down cutscene hit. Uh, but yeah, run's been going pretty good. Uh, my first run today was pretty garbage. I it didn't get very far in it, so I stopped it. But uh, here we are with this one, and you know it's going better. How was your stream, man? What were you doing today? I want to say I saw some Spyro, but I'm not sure. Very hectic stream. Is it like a cool hectic? Bug snacks, then Valorant. Oh, you had a full plate. Let's go. Bro, I didn't know you played Valorant. Man, we were just playing that shit last night. Man, you gotta add me. We gotta play sometime. Very bad. Don't worry, me too. Valorant is the one shooter I'm pretty bad at. Because you can't just fucking point and click. You have to do other shit and then point and click. And I'm not good at that. I don't like not moving. Very not good at that game. But it's fun. I've been playing Neon. It's been pretty sick. Pretty bad too. You're like a god gamer at everything you touch, but it's not, that's just false information. Hell yeah. But yeah, I've been getting a little bit back into Valorant recently. It's, it's been fun. 
that I'm not good. No, you're so good. You literally are good at everything you fucking touch. <laughs> like you spend like a week on that shit and you're already like miles better than me. Listen, you have the gamer genes. Actually, I'm not fucking talent trotting here. That's too scary. Win me the match I played with him is how good can he be? Well, listen. Fights can only do so much. He's just a man. You're gonna have to pull your weight there, Hoagie. Pull out the Aries and, you know, put some work in. I know you can do it. I'm sorry to be done with this level. The end of this level is always so stressful because I always feel like I'm going to miss something. One with the Yorotech? Didn't we win that game? I'm, like, you, didn't we win the game you win Yoru? Oh, not with bites? Well, listen. Is that on you or is that on bites? I feel like that's on you. Because I wasn't there? Listen, you could have been there. That's a lie. We had a five stack. Yo, sounds good, Bill. Enjoy your chat with your dad. Oh, was that one of the random strings of the Randy Goblin? I guess we did have four for most of the night. It really only was like one game that we had a five stack, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. What a time to be alive. That, uh, that fade was definitely something. I, I still want to get fade. I, I want to try her out. The more I do look at her, the more I don't know how much I love her, but like, it seems like a pretty cool character still. I have been enjoying the, the J.O. You know, I've been I've been finally getting his smokes down, I feel like, so I've been enjoying that. You wouldn't dare hit me into the water. I hate that hit so much because I always feel like I'm gonna die. One of these days I'm going to die. I did that wrong, but uh, we take those. Alright. The final level. That's still fucking wild to me. That I enter Click Clock Woods like shortly after the two hour mark, and then I finish the run an hour later, and this is the last level. <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong fucking area. I went to the wrong area. Sorry, I'm trying to get my notes up for Click Clock Wood because I don't fully remember it. Uh, recent PK Hundo. Okay. Let's do it. Um, I don't think what I'm even worried about here. I think fall, and that's kind of it. I've been feeling pretty comfortable with winter, surprisingly. 
I think it's more uh, fall and summer that are the worst parts. Uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I think there's like an Overwatch uh, announcement in like a week or two or something like that. I have to imagine we're getting another beta for that game. I hope it's- I hope that like 16th or whatever the fuck the date they announced wasn't just an announcement for an announcement. <laughs> and like they actually like do something. But I, I might end up doing some Overwatch 2 again on stream. Like, if that beta comes out or whatever. I don't know yet. Smile towards the sun and all the seasons will shed their secrets. The battle is won. The future is now. Not the future is now, old man. Just the future is now. Are we young, hip, cool, even? Fail and tempting. Well, that sounds like old man to me. I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of just want to finish this run so I can go watch some Better Call Saul. <laughs> I've been getting real into that show. So what that means is we're gonna have to be real speedy here. We're gonna finish it in like two minutes. Uh, as long as I don't like fall off the tree or any bullshit, we should be fine. I do really hope I get the sub three here. Because honestly, I'll feel a little bit better about taking like a small break from this game to do some Zelda stuff. Shit. Bro, that guy's invincible. He's cheating. Yeah, that's right. Give me that egg. Mm, I think I just go to the top, right? Yeah, I just go to the top. I always feel like I'm gonna fall there. Don't you hit me! Oh, the juke! He never saw it coming. God, what the fuck? Oh, right, it's on the back side. I kind of forgot the bird's not already here. Alright, so then I drop down and get the tree planted. So I'll just go to summer. God. Actually didn't mess that up. I've been doing fairly good with my egg shots today. Oh, 
All right, eighteen's good, and this is the last mumbo token I need. Eh, I can just get another one later. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I love being purple. We love being purple. Let me get the honeycomb. There we go. <laughs> All right, uh, so I go straight up to Beehive. Not gonna lie, if this does PB, I'm a little scared to submit it. Because I fucked up the submission last time. <laughs> I somehow put it both under N64 and Switch at the same time. So I had some like world record in like a category that didn't exist. I'm a little afraid I'd do it again. Or we do it again on purpose, right? And then it's like easy world record and no one knows. There we go. I keep forgetting to do that. I was doing some like weird maneuvers onto there. I literally can just like glide. Okay, five left. That's still good. Um. Okay, so let me go water the plant. Oh, who put you there? Okay, um... Okay, so I, I think I know what to do for the rest of this. We go to Mr. Beaver over here. Switch or emulator? I am playing on Switch. I started out on emulator, but I just don't really like running shit on emulator, so I'm playing on Switch right now. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Thought I got rid of that guy. I thought I had 24. Well, alright. Doesn't matter. Oh, shit. Alright, I thought I could save it. That's at least not a terrible fall. Okay, I got impatient there. We're just gonna play a little slow. We're just gonna go a little slow. Hmm. 
Like line up like right here, right? There we go. Oh yo, fuck this part. Or is it fall? Oh, it might be fall at this part. Okay, never mind. It's fall at this part. I hate. That's kind of messed up he moved, not gonna lie. Uh, okay. I have five. So then I drop down and get the... Uh, the worm, and then I get the Jinjo and leave. I don't remember what side I dropped down. Is it left? Yeah. All right, and that's summer. Not terrible. count so far. Alright, and this is where I go to Mumbo's. I think it's 47. Yes, 47. I don't need it, but I want it just to be safe. Uh, wait, so... Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't do the tree yet. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill this guy real quick. If I get it in fall or winter, I'm not going to hit it with a clip. That's the wrong thing. There we go.
Wait, do I do this now? Yeah, okay. Right, okay, it's when I drop down on that I leave. Okay. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I go in here. Yeah, so beehive. Let me get the note. Just grab the note. Thank you. I'm missing everything here. There we go. Alright, that didn't work. Um, so then I go to... Alright, so we do acorn shit now. Alright, uh, we saw nothing. I get that guy already? What the heck? All right, let's go. Well, I don't know what those yellow things are. Are they like dragonflies or some shit? They suck. I'm honestly surprised I didn't get hit off there. This part sucks. I got that jump first try, holy shit. Alright, we're good on worms and acorns. So then we hit the button and get the... Okay, I think I'm pretty good for the rest of this. Okay, cool. Well, we're definitely gonna be losing time here. Oh, and I gotta go through this shit again, dude. 
thought I got hit. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck, man. I was so surprised I didn't get hit, I didn't know where I was going. For it, all right, all right, all right. All right, there we go. Jesus. Man, those hitboxes on those worms remind me a lot of the gems in Crash 3 where you would be like right on top of them and it still wouldn't grab it. Alright, drop down, get the flower jiggy, and then we clip out. over here alright and even if I'm losing a lot of time here I have a lot of time save on the lair jiggies so I'm not too worried about it Okay, I'm feeling fairly confident with Winter. Don't need any Mumbo tokens. Hesitated on my one A press there, and it kind of fucked me up. It didn't pack. What the heck? Is happening. <laughs> I'm throwing. I'm actually throwing. There goes literally. Yeah, there goes literally all of my fucking feathers. Oh, I don't. Why am I? Why am I trying to get on the roof? I don't even need to be on the roof. Literally can just go here. Got bowling shirts in AC. Let the motherfucker know I touch balls. Let's, you gotta let him know. Bro, I gotta see your man all dripped out and shit. How's the AC been treating you? No. 
Got a campsite going, trying to figure out whom you want, yo. That's what's up. Oh, there's nothing in here except that, that's right. Do you, uh, do you have your first, like, villager from the campsite move in? Yeah, whatever, fuck it. Bro, that camera change almost just completely fucked me. Uh, so it's four and then hold up. Okay. Four. All right, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna have to get the other Jiggy as the as a B. You already got barreled? Is that is that a penguin? Or am I thinking of someone else? Is there any feathers in here? Dude, I need fucking feathers. <laughs> oh, I need feathers, man. Koala. Oh, I have no idea who that is then. Alright, eight and a half flaps. It used the feather? Oh. Bro, you gotta get Shino. What the fuck, man? Uh, what do I hold here? What do I hold here? Hold down, okay. Alright, well this was a fucking awful winter. <laughs> Koala bear who looks like Lester from GTA 5 with DSL. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so descriptive. What the fuck? I'm gonna have to look him up. Also, what's up, Riley? Let's go. LS Gay. Big Pride Month. Hours. I can't believe I got that on the very last fucking feather. Feathers. I don't think I need feathers, but I'm gonna get them anyway. Social event today for three hours after work. Well, if it's not work-related, that sounds pretty fun. 
the social events that are not work related always mad cool okay uh how do i want to do this let's get the jinjo first Where is it? Does that mean it's above me? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I had to go because parents- oh, well fuck that. <laughs> At least he got out of the house, I guess? I don't know. Our last match of the tourney caller got a T-Rex after getting T-Rex earlier in the day during practice. Fucking rip, dude. I still have never gotten it. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. It's not gonna work. Oh, I clipped back in, fuck. Uh, I, I assume it's just very low odds. Cause I mean, I haven't seen it. I keep going too far out. So I just need to like hard turn left. Yeah, I didn't think that one was gonna work. But yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever gotten T-Rex. I might have like once. Look at that fucking possible time save on here. Actually, 10 minutes. <laughs> I told you guys though, like, I got that clip very consistent. Why the fuck did it go all the way up there? What the fuck is happening? But I got that clip very consistent. It's just staying like in bounds, I guess. Not in bounds, because I mean you're literally clipping out of bounds. But like not getting sent back in bounds, I guess, is what I've been trying to figure out. No. Okay. Thank you. All right, it's going pretty good. I thought I had it like mad quick there. Don't you fucking go in there. All right, I need to like actually learn like a setup for this and not just keep winging it. <laughs> I don't know how I fucked that up that bad. Okay. 
All right, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Go right here, right? I got I jailed. I don't know how to get out of I jail. <laughs> Does anyone know how to get out of I jail? Because I definitely don't know how to get out. I thought it was like, oh, never mind, I got out. Okay. That was something. Oh, I thought I had it, so I moved. There we go. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried once I clipped in there. Because I'd never gotten that before, not even in practice. Oh, where is it? Over this way? Alright. <laughs> uh... I think that this, this should still be able to sub 3. It just depends how fast I get this next thing. I always forget that you're there. I don't need my notes. Actually, I think I split early there. It doesn't really matter. It's not like I golded it. That would have been the split. It's only a couple seconds. It's whatever. Here we go. The honeycomb. Want it? All right, here we go. Oh, we're, we're trying to skip it, all right. The mumbo token? Of course we're going for it. Fucking fat purple, goddamn dude. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little surprised I got that so fast. Oh god, I fucking need my desk. <laughs> yeah, Shaman's wife. Alright, we're still getting all the fucking extra health, all the extra bells and whistles and all that bullshit. Legit, just if I don't die, I think I PB. Well, I mean, I PB, but, like, I think if I don't die, like, I sub-3. The fuck is dog? Oh, my God.
my god. <laughs> I was just trying to peck. Door of Grunty Skip. Is that a thing people do in Hundo? Look at all this extra health we're getting. We're health freaks. We love fitness. Double frame perfect reaction? Fuck that. Oh, all right. Any percent seems awful for this game. I know there's like a hub clip you do in that area right out of uh, where the like eye shit is, where I, where I did the like eye jail. I know there's like a clip you do there. I remember seeing that years ago. That it already? That was it already? Holy shit. Yo, sounds good, Riley. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Not gonna lie, the beginning of this was honestly, like, really good. gamer now? Shield? Alright, nice, nice, nice. Oh god, the camera turn? Uh, assuming I don't, like, mess something up horribly, yeah. Should be. I can ground pound through there and get like iframes or whatever, but fuck that. Oh, guess we're riding it up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
All right, let's just wait this out. Oh my god. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't want to be too risky with it there. And then I realized I was getting fucking hit anyway, so I might as well just like go for it. We did it though. Sub three. 